Hello everybody, welcome! Today we're gonna play some Kingdoms and Castles. We're gonna start a brand new kingdom. So let's get going. So we have uh, three options. Choose your region for kingdoms. So we got Paxlon of Frets, Summer, and Vintar, Hard. So I'm gonna go for Summer, which is easy, which I would probably consider to be normal mode in this game. And uh, let's see for the world we're gonna go. I haven't seen this thing before that you can type in whatever seed you want to have, so that's pretty interesting. So you can set whatever seed, you can choose the seed someone else is playing with, so that's pretty cool. But uh, let's go random and uh, go through a few different worlds and see if we can find one that suits pretty good. I want to have a lot of these like green spots, these ones, and even the darker ones, because that's where we can have some really really good farming. And the yellow field, if you don't know that, it's a field where you can't grow anything, it's the barren land, so I'm looking for a pretty good place. It's kind of good to have water, because your people like to live next to water as well. I think this map could do, we do have some iron, we got some stone, we got water, we got some place to grow stuff, and I think this could be pretty good. We could have had like the castle maybe out on this island, perhaps, and then move towards this for the farming. But it's gonna be pretty far away, so I don't think that's too doable to do from the beginning. Rain generation W. <laughs> that's not the one I have, probably. But uh, let's go for this one. Let's start a new one on this one. Use your banner. I'm gonna go for this yellow with sword, I guess. I just think it looks pretty cool. Dragon's Beach. Uh, let's see for a name. We're gonna go for the Bantorian Kingdom. That's our new kingdom. Okay, awesome! An unpopulated land. Okay, so let's see exactly where we would like to settle down. I just love these graphics, I just love it. I love this low polygon stuff. I think this place would be pretty good because if we put it here in the barren land, we don't have to like take up and occupy the spots for other buildings, so... Place in the keep, kind of in the wood, I think that would be a pretty good thing to do. Congratulations, the Bantorian Kingdom has grown to become a quiet hamlet. Yes, yes, it has. So we're starting out. The keep has grown. Got some beautiful people down here, standing in the same spot, it seems. Okay, nice. So we should get some food going and some houses to begin with. Let's see if we can do a little bit of roads. Probably gonna have roads all around our keep. I just kinda like to have that, so we can go around easily. We can extend the village from it. And let's see, we need to chop this one down. I'm gonna chop a few more trees. Probably gonna need quite a bit of wood since we don't have like a forest in the beginning. This one. Okay, I think that should do pretty good. So if we have houses like next to this water, they're gonna be really really happy. But these are perfect like for growing a lot of farms, either farm or like an orchard. That would give a lot of food because it is green, the dark green one. Which is very fertile, so that would be really good for having some farms at. But let's see what we're gonna start with some buildings. We might be moving these later on, but since we have to start somewhere, I'm gonna start them somewhere around here. Maybe we'll make a road go out here or from here. I guess here would be better and one from here. We can pop down some houses in between there. Should do pretty good. Okay, we get some wood. Let's see if we can do maybe another house, would be awesome. Don't remember these houses, I think they can have five people living in them. Up to five villagers. Okay, so five people and we have for the moment five. Since we're making two houses, we can get more people to join, so I'm just gonna do another one so we have more people to be working at our different places. So we have a bigger workforce in town. Get some more road going here. Gotta make sure that I put it out before and the force start to regrow back. It grows back really, really fast, so... Okay, so we got some houses. Now we probably need to focus a little bit on food. So we can do farms, we can do orchards. These are more against if it's like raining and stuff. And we can do like an orchard here, I guess. Let's maybe do one there in the beginning at least. We're probably gonna move around a lot of these things later on, when we like move around to fit everything together in a better way. Let's go for some ordinary farms here. 
And here I will probably do a road. This would be really useful for, for a farm, but I think we will do that for a normal, normal road for now. Hopefully we don't have to care too much about the defense at the moment. Just want to get our people happy and not starve to death. But we should be getting some food now. So now when it's raining, this orchard shouldn't really be too affected by that. Probably should get a well, I guess. And a forest so we can get uh, like a wood in a normal way. We can produce some stuff. Okay, let's see here. We need this one. Oh yeah, we, you make the core before the forester. I always expect the forester to be the first one. Feels like a many strategy game you get a forester first. In this game you get the, the core first. So we're gonna put it here, we have one stone there. And I think that's the only one that's like really really close. We're gonna get more stone, we have to go into the forest over here. Where we have three stones, so that's a lot of stone where we need it. Let's see if we can collect a bit, a bit, a little bit more wood. We need 15 in total for this. Okay, there we go. So we're gonna put it here. We can have two quarries at each stone. That should be pretty good. Might go for two, like, real early. After I get at least maybe a forester, I'm gonna go for the second one. Uh, let's go for a second one directly and then we can gather our stone a little bit faster. Okay, let's chop down a few more trees. Chopping down this beautiful forest. Let's see if these guys has anything to say. It feels like, like we have what we need. We have food, we have houses, we have a quarry. We probably need a few more houses to have a few more people to live here though. Sire, our food stores are running low. Perhaps more farms could help. Sire, we have a construction, but no one is available to build it. Perhaps we should temporarily close other buildings and build new homes. Good day, Sire. Military officer always saying a lot of stuff. Pretty much never. Okay, so some new houses. That should be useful. But having more houses means we can have more people, and having more people means we can have more people work in different places. So I'm just gonna turn this one off for now, just so they can go build the buildings instead of working there, so we can actually progress a bit. Okay, so let's see, we should get an um, forester very soon. I'm just gonna make a road. We can get out a little bit further. We can probably put it somewhere around here, it should be pretty good. Okay, there we go, there we have it. So I'm gonna put it here and then later on, we just, when that is down, we're just gonna extend the road a bit. So that's nice, we have both quarries and a forest. I'm just gonna make some new some new housing. And what we really need to do soon also is to make a well. If we don't have a well, our building is gonna burn down and that's not gonna be very good for our Bantorian kingdom, so we gotta get that very early on. And I'm probably gonna get like two forester really quick as well. Let's have to get enough people to live in a town before everything. A town square would also be useful because with this one we can increase happiness and that will attract new people to come so we can have more people to live here quite useful. Okay, let's see if we get enough soon. Okay, here we go. And maybe we'll make the farm just a tiny bit bigger soon. I guess we can wait a little bit. I really want to try these later on, like the Noria Aqueduct and Reservoir, that's the part of them. Um, Part of uh, the new update of the game. Got a dragon! Can't do much against him. Please don't burn my kingdom down, man. We don't have too much to defend ourselves with. He's a really, really cool. Hello, Mr. Dragon. Please don't burn him down. Screw you, man. Ok, 
Okay, let's get some more houses. Oh, he's coming here to burn, I guess. Please don't burn my town, man. I just seem not so happy. Let's see if we can do a well. We should get a well soon. Because now they have to like it. They have to go to the water to get the water to put out the fires. Congratulations, the Bantorian Kingdom is now a small village. Awesome. Okay, we can make a well. We might need to have two, but I'm gonna put at least one over here for now. So we're gonna have some over here later on. Okay, the dragon is gone. That's awesome. Okay, it's so another forest. I should get out very soon. I really want to have more resources. I love when it's flowing in more wood and stone to your kingdom. We can do many things. Okay, so I'm gonna throw down another forester. Oh no, it's burning! Just like Banda said, at least it's raining and I got my well there. That's nice. Banto got it in time, it seems. So I'm gonna put it here and maybe we do like a road here yeah, so they can access it a little bit faster where we just extend road here. We will see. Might do the road here. Okay, that should do good. So maybe soon, I guess it's soon time to do some kind of uh, tower because now in this latest update you can actually do towers and walls with wood. It's a lot weaker but at least you can you can actually do something. So we have this wooden castle block and then you put like archer towers or ballista on top of those. So that is quite helpful but I still feel like we need to get our industry going. Make it a little bit better than this right now. So we have a second forest, so that should help quite a lot. I'm gonna chop down a few trees though, by hand. Okay, so I'm gonna have another forester. He's gonna be he's gonna be out here working. So perhaps another road. I'm kinda gonna use all, all these corners of the castle, extend roads and just make the city flow from that way. That's how it's gonna connect it to the castle. I wonder if we need to make like um, a little bit more with the farms. I would like to use this as an orchard, but we can't reach that yet. Uh, so let's do some um, let's do some farms over here for those. We probably should also do an uh, just a small granary. It's pretty nice to put it here because this is a barren land. You can't really grow anything here, so it's a very good place to put something like that, like some normal housing, I would say. And windmill is something we will look into putting there later. Might remove that and pop the windmill in the middle. And then we can have those um, farms adjacent to our windmill. And that should work out really, really good. Oh, ni nice. Now we can make some cottage. So I guess we can do one. And um, kind of wanted to have it maybe behind here. Because like I said, this is barren. You can't grow anything there. The thing is that might be troublesome with making a road. I think if we make like a bridge out here, we c it could work. Mm, let's see where we want to place this for the moment. Maybe... Let's put it there. That should be good. Do it like that. But it's pretty fun with houses that uh, they like different things. So these guys, they want to have charcoal. They do have neighbors, which gives them happiness, a road, and also have a well. So that uh, gives them some bonuses, and this house should also be getting bonuses because it's living next to the beach. So that is very popular, but we have to make sure this house also get a neighbor. So I'm gonna do another cottage right next to that. And we should probably look into doing like a uh, tavern. Guess we can put it here. Doesn't cover too much, but uh, most of our villagers live closer to this. Having it here, I guess, would cover a little bit more, but we would have to destroy a few houses. But for now, I think I will leave it there. And another well, I'm gonna drop one over here. Feels like we need one. We can cover the farms a little bit better in these houses. Okay, looks like we have a message. Sire, we're losing our excess food, but I see a new granary under construction. Wise choice, thank you. Sire, peasants think you're an excellent ruler. Congratulations, thank you. That's good to hear, that's good to hear. It's going, going pretty good, it looks like. I uh, might open up this core now, because we have a few more workers. We have still five guys idols, which is pretty good to have idle people, because they will 
build buildings and also think they help out a little bit with um, moving around your resources so that's also pretty good a town square I would like to fit somewhere I might put it here and uh, chop that down and then I, when that is down I'm just gonna remove these two farms and we're gonna put on town square because it, it kind of covers a good amount of houses we put it there okay there we go so let's uh, shut these down and we're gonna pop up a little town square there see it covers a lot so that should be really good let's see here so we got roads we got wells we got the beach we got an tavern hick and neighbors it doesn't say anything about the town square, but it should be working. Oh, it's not done, of course. Okay, so it, we should see it anytime soon. That's doing good. But uh, let's get an um, charcoal maker. I think we might need to do more than one to supply all the charcoal we will need. So I'm going to put it um, here. Another place, Baron. So that should be good. And we shouldn't have people living close to the charcoal makers. That's um, not something people like to live next to out here is a good place for a farm but I think I might actually maybe build a house or two we could like throw one house there and then another one here we can make a bridge over there that would be actually be pretty good so let's do that instead do it like that and then we can get over there later on that should be awesome Peasants grow unhappy, some have no access to the church or library. Yep, since we don't have the building it's kinda hard to have access to it, but um, we definitely should consider getting one of those. So the library we will need some gold for, and to get gold we need to go and uh, build uh, the treasure room. 50 stone, okay, so we have to wait a little bit to get all that stone. It's gonna take a while for me as one quarry. One rock that is. But we could, we could do another quarry inside here in the woods if we want. Maybe that's something we should try to do. It's gonna be a little bit tricky to get in there though. So I think I want to make a road here. It's probably gonna regrow while I'm busy doing something else. We can do a road that goes into the rock here. Okay, so that should be good. That should give us a little bit more stone once we reach that point. That's really what uh, we need, because we're gonna need it for the walls and towers and everything. But it looks like we're about to be able to do this. Awesome. Treasure room. So, if I remember, this is quite important to have, like, pretty safe and secure, because if raiders come to you and they reach this place, they can take all your gold, and I don't think you can reclaim it in any way, so even if you kill them, I don't think you get it back, really. And uh, let's see, where would I want to have it? I don't have a very defensive position at all to have it at the moment. So, I could maybe... Let's demolish that house. My poor little people losing the houses for Bantos. Treasure room. <laughs> okay, so I think that should be fine. We have some new houses. We have enough people still. But with this we can, uh, we can get gold. We can have festivals and we can build the things that requires us to have some gold. Okay, we need to chop that one down. Okay, so now we can build it. Awesome. And then we can do the little core out here. Here we go. So that should give us a little bit faster with stone. We're probably gonna do a second one later on. At least we got one for now. The food. It looks like we have to do something with the food. Improve it a little bit. A windmill would be awesome. And it's not that far away. So I'm gonna put some road first so we can build more the farm then we're gonna pop in a windmill in the middle there and the windmill what it does is that it it decreases that food output from these so that should help quite a lot i'm just gonna remove this one for now five more stone and we got it yeah there we go windmill awesome let's put it down here gonna have it that way we the wind sail this way. Okay, that should be cool. That should improve the food quite a bit, I think. We might need more farms even though. So we should look into... Maybe I'm making another cottage. A manor? We need some gold to do that, but it's not too far away from doing it. 
So tax rate, we can go from a zero up to three. I'm gonna go for two, a middle balanced thing there. Because we need to get quite a bit of gold down in the beginning of the game. And uh, let's do a cottage since I can't afford to do a manor yet. So let's see, where can we put this? I would definitely like to remove some of these rocks later on. This is iron though, but uh, I might remove that if it's possible. I know that these rocks you can remove. This one is kind of in the way for a bit from a town square. We'll see later on what we do with it though. I guess we could build some houses down here. Maybe we could just... Uh, let's remove a little bit of the wood over here. Shop these two down. Then we can fit in another house. But I guess for now we can pop one in here. Should do pretty good. The town square is probably not like sitting in the best spot it could be sitting. It's probably some way better places to have it in than that spot. Okay, that's awesome. But yeah guys, uh, this is gonna be it for today with Kingdoms and Castles. We got a new town in this game, I'm back again. I lost the old save, so that's why we have to restart again. So I hope you guys enjoy Kingdom and Castles. And uh, there's gonna be some new games soon. So I have um, one or two games that's gonna be coming up on my channel soon. Two brand new games and uh, they're gonna come probably at uh, the next week. So I said at the previous week that was gonna come um, this week and um, they're gonna be coming the next week instead. So guys, thanks for watching today's episode with Kingdoms and Castle. I hope you guys enjoyed our Bantorian Kingdom and uh, if you did, feel free to leave a like on the video and subscribe to me here on YouTube to watch more videos with me, Banto. So thanks for watching, have a good, good time and take care.